Hello. 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 We're not doing the voice anymore. Oh, yeah, you're right. We stopped. Uh, my name is Red, and uh, that uh, over there, that's Denton. How do you have hands? How do you not have hands? I don't have hands. I don't have them. I just, I simply lack them. I have a goatee, but I lack hands. And trust me, any guy who spends an inordinate amount of time with puppets needs hands. I need hands. Anyway, so this is what we're doing here. It's it's like a podcast, but we've got puppets. So it's the puppet cast. I'm Red. That's Denton. So puppets. I hope you here enjoy, we are. Hope you enjoyed the fruits of our labor. Um, anyway, we originally had these grand plans. We were like, hey, well, first of all, how how are you doing, Denton? By the way, how's everything going? Ugh, living the dream over here. How about you? Uh, yeah, you're only you're nifty. I, I gotta say, I'm I'm living this kind of a. I, I got a neck here. And you know, you you got like kind of a sweatshirt going on, and and uh, uh, like a like a hand, you got hands and shit. You're uh, you're definitely you're moving on up, as they say. No, you don't even know what's going on over here. I don't want to know. No, don't want to know. Anyway, uh, what we were gonna do was uh, talk about the uh, <laughs> rub it in. Go ahead. Yeah, you got hands. Whatever. Um, uh, uh, so we were going to talk about the uh, the Red Sox and the 2014 Red Sox and kind of do a year recap, but I said, fuck that. I am done. I have thrown uh, the 2004 season out the uh, the mental window. Yes, exactly. That's, that's good. How do you throw anything? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Without, <laughs> without hands. I guess I don't. Uh, anyway, um, so so we were originally going to talk about 2014, but we said, "Fuck it, let's just let's talk about let's take our minds to a better place, and a better place uh, for us, if we cannot instantly become uh, Jenny Dell's Baca lounger, uh, would be to go back to 2004, which was the magical year. We had a couple of magical years; we've been kind of spoiled. But if, if we were going to talk about 2004, now you and I were actually watching. Uh, without giving too much away, we were watching the the final game. Was it the final game of the ALCS we watched together? Um, yes, it was. As a matter of fact, that's yeah, right. They yeah. brought in Pedro at the end. Yeah. Of that oh game. yes, yes, yeah, that's that was, right. That's one. File that under shit. We don't understand why it happened, but we don't really question. If they lost. You know, you would have heard about it. But anyway, to, to talk about some, some good things about 2004, because it is hard to believe 10 years uh, since the Red Sox uh, won the 2004 World Series and that incredible ALCS. Um, but I want to ask you, uh, uh, Happy Denton, uh, when, you, uh, when you think about uh, 2004, uh, everything, the, the, the playoffs, the, ALC, the ALCS, the, the World Series, is there any single defining moment uh, that pops into your head? Like one moment that you can say, that to me, and, and I'm going to Im- immediately exclude the steel because the steel. Oh, you can't exclude the steel. All right, I'll put the steel back in if that was your, if you were clinging to that one. But I was trying to think of non-steel uh, moments that that we look back on in 2004. Yeah, I. Th- that's a tough one because the first thing I think about is the walk and then the steel. Yeah. Um, but beyond the playoffs. I think you really have to go back, and I've I've blogged about this a lot. That you have to go back to the Veritech feeding Verit, uh, feeding a rod the glove that really turned the regular season around. At that point, that was June twenty fourth. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that was kind of the that was the not taking any more shit moment. I think. That's right. That's when we finally got one over on the Yankees. I think. <laughs> uh, you know, I I look at. I, I, the, the moment I, I look at is, and I know it's a weird moment because it really doesn't, in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't really, it's, it's not one that people point to a lot, but, but, if you go back to game six of the ALCS uh, in New York, uh, Red Sox uh, were up by two runs in the ninth inning. We were up four to two. Uh, and what happens in the bottom of the ninth? The Yankees get two men on. The Yankees have two men on, uh, two out. And who steps to the plate but Tony Clark? Now think about this. Usually, it's the ex Red Sox players who who come back and, and fuck us, really, and, and not in a good way. Um, it, it's usually those guys who come back and, and screw us, and we end up, you know, something happens. Carlton Fisk goes yard for the White Sox, or you you know how it goes. It's just the way it is. Uh, so I fully expected yet Keith Folk pitching to Tony Clark, the giant. Um, so I figured we'd do him. Clark is going to go yard. The Yankees are going to win uh, five to four. That's going to be it. But 
but Tony Clark struck out swinging. Uh, it was a fucking amazing moment. And that, even though I really didn't rest easy at that point, I look at that and I say, in any other year, the ex-Red Sox guy comes back and kills us. And this year it didn't happen. So that makes me happy. Does it make you happy? Everything about 2004 made me happy. Excellent. There's a lot to make happy. There's a lot. There, of- there is. There, another moment, and, and I know this is kind of a cliche thing, and it's it's been talked about a million times. Is but sorry. A- after the uh, the third game of the ALCS, the 19 to 8 game, and when Kevin Millar is famous, just don't let us win. And yeah, it's funny to look back on that now because if they had lost, he'd be like, man, eh, <laughs> you know, that crazy Millar. But they won. And looking back on it, that, in fact, you know, that if I was running the public schools in Boston, I'd say, fuck the Gettysburg Address and I have a dream and all that shit. This is the speech that people should be studying. Don't let us win tonight. Because that is fucking amazing. When you think of, when you look at it now in, in the full context of everything that happened, it's, it's pretty amazing. It's pretty ballsy. And at the time, he probably was just looking for a way to keep his teammates from, you know, from – drinking themselves off off a cliff or something. He was looking for anything, I guess, to make everybody happy again. And think about it. I mean, it's, it's, it's fucking insane. It's, to look back on it now as an artifact, as a piece from that era and say, you know, he called it. It was fucking, it was, he artifact. called the whole goddamn thing an artifact. That's a 50 buck an artifact. I don't know. I just read in the script. Um, but I, I, I think that's brutally amazing. Well, well let, let's throw another question here. If you can think of one person who in your mind, when you think of the 2004 season, who's the one person that you that you think of immediately? Um, Don't say Brian Cashman and his head warmer. No, 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 no. Because that fucking head warmer was awesome. Hey, I don't know. That, that That's another tough question because they were really, and I hate to throw the cliches around, but they were an, oh, an all-around around. team. Yeah, they were an all-around team. But you can still throw the cliches around. I'm going to say... Someone who, I mean, it's easy to go Dave Roberts or, or, or Ortiz, obviously, but I think Mark Bellhorn uh, is the guy I come back to. Not just because you and I made millions with our Who Died and Made You Mark Bellhorn shirts. Uh, for one thing, he didn't sue us. He, he knew the shirts existed, uh, but he didn't sue us, which is a nice thing. Um, but, but secondly, hi. Uh, but secondly, um, he, he, he came to kind of epitomize that you know the the whole character of the team the you know the 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 guy who just kind of flew what the fuck are you doing the guy who kind of flew under the radar um and uh, and went on to uh, to to uh, be a real catalyst now he had that home run in in game i forget what game it was it was game 6 of the ALCS when he hit that one that went off, off the guys off the foul pole yeah no 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 well that was the world series it, it, that was the, the world series well right. you know it's funny you mentioned that one because i was going i was going to get to that one next he hit that one in uh, the ALCS that kind of went off the guy's shirt or something. It, was, it like hit a guy in right field. It went out of Yankee Stadium and hit a guy, and the the, the umps had to get together. Um, but uh, what the fuck was I going to say? Oh, um, but the, like you said, then he hit that one off the pole. Now think about it. After the ALCS, we went through all that all that crazy shit, and in many ways, beating the Yankees was kind of our World Series. You know, we we beat the Yankees. We finally vanquished our long term foe. Uh, so it was kind of like a World Series win, but we still had a World Series against a really good St. Louis Cardinals team. But, um, it, you know, we, we came out to an early lead, then they came back and tied it. That moment when Bellhorn came up, and I believe he was facing Julian Tavares, he came up, hit that home run up Pesky's pole with a loud, bah! you remember that, the like, clang, it was, you could hear it from Milton. Um, so he uh, so he hits that home run, and then remember remember when he was running you know when, when he was running to first base he kind of looked back on your on your DVDs of this he kind of looked into the Red Sox dugout and gave this little I don't have hands so I can't gesture yes but he made this little gesture to the Red Sox dugout like you know it was this this little you know everything's gonna be fine buddy it was it was actually very cool and from that moment on. The, the Cardinals, the Cardinals never led, I believe, at any point. They, um, actually, I, I don't know. I, I don't have it in front of me, but I don't think they ever led at any point in the World Series. But after Mark uh, Bellhorn's home run, uh, they didn't lead at all in the in the rest of the World Series. We were kind of in the driver's seat. So I kind of look at Bellhorn's uh, home run in the AL, in the World Series game one as the kind of the – that was the, the – that was the nail in the coffin early. I mean, yeah, we had Schilling and Pedro pitch it next, but uh, – 
but still, I think that that just added to the to the uh, legend of of um, Mark Bellhorn. So, but the, there was a lot of guys. Look at didn't um, Billy Miller win the batting title that year? Yeah, he did. He and did. and you know, there was the big Nomar trade. I mean, there was there was so many things that happened that year that just totally unexpected. And by the way. Do you have a thesaurus or a word of the day calendar over there? No, I don't. Why? You've already used artifact and vanquish. I'm starting to feel a little <laughs> stupid over here. I was just playing Scrabble. Cat. I was just, I was just playing a heated Scrabble game. Uh, um, so here's a question. We'll, we'll, we'll end with this question. Let's say you're a bartender. You're a bartender in Boston. And three people come into your bar. Dave Roberts. Ted Williams and John F. Kennedy. You can only give a free beer to one of those gentlemen. Who gets it? Is it the whole Ted Williams or just his head that's been de-thought out? It's the, whole, <laughs> it's the whole Ted Williams. Ah, fuck it. It's still Dave Roberts. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. Yeah. Fuck the guy who saved us from the Cuban Missile Crisis. I just don't give shit one. It oh, goes, that John Kennedy. Yeah, I, I, I thought you meant John Kennedy from... Uh, <laughs> From down the block. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, he's, I wouldn't give it to him either. Fuck them all. Dave Roberts, I agree with you. Dave Roberts gets it. So uh, if you rank your World Series victories, we've been very fortunate over the last uh, three years, had three, uh, three World Series victories. Where do they rank? Uh, you, let's just rank uh, 2004, 2007, 2013 in honor of, let's start with the one closest to your heart and then work your way out. Where do they rank? 2004 will always be the greatest World Series, no matter if they win another... 10 before I die. Absolutely. But the, I, I, I honestly think last year was was second. Um, it, it was just so unexpected. Yeah, I agree. And 2007 was, I don't know. It's it's kind of a, I'm out of words. I don't know. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, the, just, it's just there. Go ahead and say it. It's the red-headed stepchild. That's what you want to ah, say. Ah, sorry. That's what you want to say. Sorry, sorry. No offense. Prick. Um, but you're right. It's it's funny. Uh, ironically, that was probably the best Red Sox team of all three of them uh, on, pa was. on paper, at least that 2017. But but I agree. Anyway, um, that that's it. Really, it's the 10th anniversary of 2004. We wanted to talk about it a little bit, and that's what we had to say. Uh, we are puppets. Uh, we may do this again if the FBI hasn't confiscated our puppets <laughs> within. Uh, Within, uh, within the week, uh, we'll come back again. But in the meantime, uh, my name is Red. That over there is... <laughs> this is pretty freaky, huh? That is Denton. Uh, he's got hands. Uh, we've got puppets. And uh, we'll see you again. Thank you.